Hello everybody and today is another review and this time it's Jurassic World Legacy Collection Isla Nublar Escapes It. So this was a set that I found, well I found this in my toy hunt which you could click right here if you want to. Check that video out. and so why not we take a look at this set. So as you can see this is Jurassic World Legacy Collection of course which is great that Mattel is still continuing the Legacy line which is great for us fans. So, as you can see, it's kind of a mix of Jurassic World Legacy Collection and the Primal Attack. So as you can see here in the packaging, when we go in packaging first, we have Owen and Blue like always in the packaging. We have the Mattel line right here, the nice Primal Attack fence packaging in the background which I really like. I like how this, how Mattel displays this set like this. It looks nice like that to protect the figures and everything. But anyways, you have the Isla Nublar escape set. It shows the Raptors, Ellie and John Hammond, which I really wanted him. And the Raptors and that banner, which looks awesome. So right here on top, just the same things. Isla Nublar escape set. Jurassic World Legacy Collection over here. And side, again Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And the other side, right here, is kind of damaged because since I was taking, I did a toy hunt, it kept falling, falling off the seat. This wasn't there before, so sorry about that. So that's kind of bother me, but it doesn't really matter. So anyways, Jurassic World Legacy Collection over here, back of the box right here, as you can see, we have John Hammond facing up with the raptor with his amber cane. Ellie Sattler just staring down at the crouching raptor. John Hammond, Dr. Ellie Sattler, Velociraptor, and uh, the crouching Velociraptor. And we get the When Dinosaurs Rule the Earth banner, which I really like that. Also, you could get this at the Fact Tap, which you cannot get in frame, sorry. He's a Nublar Escape Set, Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And just bottom of the box, just lots of boring information, and if you want your own. Isla Nublar escapes it. I'll be happy to give it to you. the Barco. Either way, it's gonna be very common soon, hopefully. Like the Brachiosaurus, but yeah. So why don't we open this this set already? Because I've been dying to just already open it. So give me a second. I'll open this after I'm done. All right. So here is the Legacy Collection set out of the box, out of the packaging. And I gotta say before we do this, I just want to say that when you open the box, right there where you open it on both sides maybe, it's gonna be glued. It's gonna be glued like a like a cereal box almost. When I opened mine, mine was really glued in. So if anybody tries to steal these things in the stores, they're gonna have a little bit of trouble trying to steal them. But anyways, I just wanted to say that because yeah, I just want to mention it. Anyways. Here is the set out of its packaging and I gotta say this is the best set so far from Mattel. You got the banner, you got John Hammond, you got these raptors and this is obviously a repack. So why don't we jump into the raptors first. Okay, so let's just first review these raptors before we get into the humans. So the raptors... <coughs> oh my god. Sorry about that. Here is the first raptor right here. The one that is... There's nothing super special about this raptor, obviously. It's basically just the first, like, from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Blue, the attack pack version of it. Which mainly, uh, yeah, that's what this one is, if you haven't seen it. Nothing super special with this one, obviously. Just, you know, basic articulation with the legs, which I'll do that later. But the only special thing about this is the paint job on these. These are actually paint jobs from the... From the movie from the Jurassic Park these have that and I'm super happy that we finally got this with these Raptors and the attack packs and we get it for the Mattel line too instead of the Amber collection but yeah at least these are cool and also for the first time I think so we got painted toenails on these Raptors on the attack packs and here is the scan code right there it is if you guys want to get this I haven't scanned this yet so yeah anyways uh, so, it has this nice color of peach or tan, I think. I'm not very sure. I'm not very good at my colors. And just inside the mouth is 
nicely painted pink right there and the roof of the mouth is just the same color as the head and the whole body obviously and yeah so just this raptor is brown and I really like I really like this paint job on these these raptors they really look cool on it and later we're gonna compare and the articulation on it but anyways let's move on with the next raptor here's the next raptor the crouching raptor which many people are not a fan of this mold and myself included kind of I'm not sure if we haven't gotten this mold so many times like the other one but this one I think so we've only got in a few occasions like three times which uh showcasing a little bit with the other raptors and yeah just this one's basically the same same uh, paint job as the other one which obviously is a nice paint job on these raptors not gonna lie really like it and yeah these paint this paint job looks very nice on this raptor but I know that it's not the best mold in the world I know many people say it's the worst and I could agree with them but uh, it's a it's a it's an okay mold yeah anyways here's the scan code if you want it there you go have the scan code and yeah the same thing applies to it painted toenails Jurassic World sign nice tannish color right here in the inner belly and yeah you can't do much articulation with this one not much it's just in this pose mostly which that's why so many people hate this mold that doesn't really bother me so much but I could see why but these raptors are basically pretty cool and for this set not gonna lie these raptors are the coolest ra repaints out of the Mattel line and yeah I would yeah that is the raptors for this set so why don't we move on with the humans and other accessories here is the humans in this uh, legacy collection pack and why don't we go on with Ellie Sattler she's since she's just a repack so basically and nothing has changed with her much not gonna lie it's just the same same old mold with her nothing has changed much it would have been cooler if she just only had the blue shirt on her just like in the movie that would have been very cool but hey it's it's fine uh, if Mattel wants to do that then they could do it sure if it's just a repack it's just basically the same thing same articulation which I could show you right now. Just basically, Ellie Sattler just uh, moves her waist and just the arms, 360, and right here, and there, arm right here. She can move that. And some people have said that her sculpt on the head, which, uh, yeah, her hair looks like if it's a mop. <laughs> and I got, I'm not gonna lie, that does kind of look like it. Anyways, her legs can go outward and yeah it's just the same articulation nothing super special nothing much has changed just a repack with just without her lights and the uh, copy so let me get rid of Zoom. and let's just go on with the main star of the set which is john hammond himself the founder of jurassic park which I am very happy that I finally have a John Hammond. I really wanted to get the Comic Con exclusive one, but it costed 25 bucks, which I am very glad I didn't buy it for that much. It's basically more worth it getting the set, and you get like five other things with this set the banner, the Raptors, and just a repack, and him, John Hammond. And yeah, so here's John Hammond himself. So why don't we just move his cane? and yeah John Hammond himself look at him so many people have said that John Hammond hasn't changed at all from the Comic Con exclusive one except with his hatching Velociraptor thing which is okay I don't re I didn't really care about it much just it would make it like a cool display for John Hammond but either the way he's way cooler by himself so why don't we just go with the basic articulation which you could move his arms his arms right here and again you can move this one arm this arm hold on let me focus it and yeah uh, the arm does the same thing his head moves side to side maybe a full on 360 for all grandpa all gramps could do his exercise 
and his legs can move obviously and he could go outward but it's kinda hard since he has this soft plastic on him which is his coat which I'm really happy that I finally have this John Hammond I really am and I'm very glad that Mattel did this for this set which makes it very special and yeah and he has his watch right here which I think so I cannot see it well but yeah that's his watch and I've heard that you could take John Hammond's glasses off which I'm not because in, I was playing around with this thing a little bit and I haven't gotten them out but I know right here you could see if I could just get the case that it looks like like Ian Malcolm the same case with it you could just take it off I don't want to do that now but I think so you can take it off if someone in the comments have, has done that please tell me if you can for sure I will pin you or something I don't know I'm not sure but or in Twitter if someone could tell me I'm not sure just tell me if you could get out the glasses on John Hammond just like Ian Malcolm that would be very cool I just I was just playing around with this thing and I just wondered if he could take it off or not but I haven't tried that and I won't do that right now because I don't want to mess with him too much anyways anyways I'm sorry I'm kind of getting out of getting distracted here but anyways so here is John Hammond's cane which as you can see has the very little mosquito print on it which is very nice that Mattel added that little detail of course with the mosquito in it just like in the movie which is awesome nice detail on the cane I don't want to bend it too much I really like this cane and yeah, John Hammond comes with his cane in this set, which is awesome. And I'm really happy that Mattel did that. And obviously, with this cane, you could put it on John Hammond himself. Hopefully, an Amber Collection version comes out, which that would be cool. But anyways, that's John Hammond himself. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So, also since of with this legacy collection set it also comes with when dinosaurs rule the earth banner which i gotta say it's the best thing that mattel has ever thought which i'm super happy that i could just display this with my figures and stuff and yeah so a lot of fans are are very happy which i could tell because i'm very happy for this set and that's also the reason that i really want to buy this set more than the kind cretaceous set Anyways, here is the when dinosaurs rule the earth banner when the T-Rex roars and then it falls down And also this is not cheap fabric. All right. This is very durable fabric. This won't break super easily Which that is very great for Mattel to be doing that and making us JP fans very happy Which I gotta say Mattel has done a great job with this set already cannot wait for the feature until they add vehicles and Playsets and more like that places like this, but just with vehicles and buildings and stuff. That would be awesome Anyways, I'm sorry. I got out of I'm just talking other stuff, but yeah, this banner ain't cheap. You could just hang it up if you want also I gotta uh, Also, just do not I just want to warn you guys if you actually do want to hang this up I would not recommend you guys hang this up in the wall a pin because I did that and I actually got out a little bit of fabric right here and kind of eventually destroy your banner and then you have to try to get a new one which in that case I would highly recommend you guys just put it on tape where it doesn't destroy it much and yeah do not do the same mistake if I what I did if you are then I would recommend you just use tape or some very sticky tape just to hang it up because with a pin for me, since the pin bent, it pulled out a little bit of fabric, which kind of made me a little bit upset, but then I just used tape, and yeah, that's kind of solved the problem for me. But yeah, anyways, let's move on. So articulation with this Velociraptor, I got it. It's just basic articulation, like in every attack pack Velociraptor, you get the jaw. And I gotta say one thing, that this jaw for my Raptor is pretty loose. I'm not sure if that's with every raptor, but I just wanted to say that. Yeah, you see? It's pretty loose. It doesn't want to stay. But that kind of bothers me, but yeah. Anyways, articulation with this thing is the jaw. And you can move these arms 360. 
they're pretty soft rubber well not rubber soft plastic my bad and yeah we also same thing with this arm and the legs on this one they don't move very much they just stay in a position I'm not sure anyways I'm sorry about that but the legs they could move I think so on 180 degrees I'm not very sure yeah I think so I'm not sure but they move that much and that much sorry I'm not showing you the legs yeah and this leg it could kind of move 360 but it can't because of the arms they're in the way and the tail it doesn't move sadly I think so these feet can move no they don't either the way they look like they are able to move looks like that but sadly these don't move I'm not sure what happened right there but yeah that's basically the basic articulation in this attack pack velociraptor so why don't we move on with the crouching raptor the crouching raptor which is here and basically it's just the same thing it's just the same thing sorry and yeah same skull and everything and articulation on this one this one in this jaws of my velociraptor is not loose in this one the crouching raptor surprisingly and the arms move obviously they're also soft plastic like the other one and yeah the other one too can move 300 full 360 the legs you can't do much posing with this one obviously that's why many people hate about it and yeah you could just only put it like that yeah, like it's doing a superman thingy Oi. anyways uh let's continue on so basically there's not much articulation on this velociraptor and that's a uh, on this attack pack crouching velociraptor uh, it's okay but it's pretty standard articulation and you can't do much posing with this one like amber collections or you know like uh, every other mattel dinosaur figure but yeah on these attack pack pack velociraptors you can't do really much but they're pretty cool which is what i really like about it and yeah so let's move on now we do a little bit of comparisons on this velociraptor Here is blue next to the new velociraptor paint job obviously nothing much has changed just paint job and everything and blue only doesn't have painted toenails like this new velociraptor and yeah let's move on Velociraptor Dino Rivals Delta next to this new Jurassic Park Legacy Collection Raptor and obviously basically the same mold most of them have the same detail and everything and yeah so nothing much like the blue they're just repaints and yeah let's move on it's the crouching velociraptor so why don't we compare with the other crouching velociraptors it's the original crouching velociraptor Velociraptor next to the new crouching Velociraptor repaint and obviously just major changes it's just paint job obviously and this one doesn't have painted toenails just nothing nothing much of detail or anything has changed just paint job is what has really changed so yeah let's move on here is Dino Rivals Delta the crouching Velociraptor next to the new crouching Velociraptor which as you could see just again paint job nothing much of detail has changed of it and yeah which is basically it about this velociraptor so let's move on here's all the velociraptors next to each other and as you can see obviously this one really hasn't changed much it's basically the same mold just different paint job and just these two don't have painted toenails and this one does and the crunching velociraptor has painted toenails different paint job on every single one of them and just the same mold which really uh, has really changed much on both of these so yeah I just wanted to show you that real quick so let's go to my final analysis my final thoughts on this set if you ever see this in store I would highly highly recommend you to pick this up the banner is not cheap it's very high quality and it's awesome to display with the Raptors very awesome repaints but obviously they are just the same old I don't mind I don't really mind them but I'm not sure obviously you get John Hammond if you want John Hammond then you could get him in this set 
And Alexander, I'm not sure. Some people could love her, but she's just basically a repack. Nothing has changed of her. And yeah, she's trying to fight that raptor. <laughs> anyways, anyways, that is it for my review, guys. So tell me in the comments if you will be picking this set up. Or if you have, then tell me what you think of this set and everything. So thank you very much for watching this video. And thank you for staying all the way to the end of this video. But please, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe this video. I've been recently seeing you guys that you've been hitting that subscribe button a lot. Which I really, really I am grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for that. And hopefully I will be doing a shout out on Sunday in two days from now. So tell me right now in the comments if you want a shout out then I'll do it for you. Hopefully if I remember. Please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. You do not want to miss any of this content that I do. And also remember to follow my Twitter. Link in the description if you want to see exclusive stuff from me. Or just behind the scenes of how I do these videos. And yeah. Anyways guys that is it for my review for this set. Highly recommend you buy this set. Everything is pretty much worth your money. 30 bucks isn't that bad for this set. Anyways guys I will see you guys in the next review. In the snap scuds hopefully. Anyways guys I will see you guys in the next video. Adios and goodbye.